This video focuses on how to work with seals. In some cases, the preferred tools are not available, so we're demonstrating a few methods that could help, especially with a home install. Once the pinion has been removed, the pinion seal and outer bearing are left behind. We're using a pinion seal from a third member style for demonstration, but these methods will work on any seal needing to be removed. The pinion seal is a thin metal and prone to misshape with excessive force. Work carefully to avoid damaging the housing or bearing. The quickest and safest way to remove the pinion seal is with a seal remover tool. They come with a dual tip design to provide different leverage options. Taking the seal out in a single pry will ruin the seal but does not scrape the housing. This is different than using a pry bar. With a pry bar, the metal edges can gouge the housing or races, leading to oil leaks. If it is the only option, pad the tip by wrapping it several times with a cloth to protect the components needing to be reused. A chisel and a hammer is generally safer than using a pry bar, but a lot more time consuming. Walk the chisel around the perimeter, working the seal free by lightly tapping the edge away and out. This method will always destroy the seal. Pinion seals have a spring on the back side, the side that faces in towards the differential. This spring adds tension around the seal to grip the yoke. Without it, the pinion seal won't retain oil as well. So give the spring a quick swipe with some fresh grease. It helps with startup and it helps stick it in place. Place the outer pinion bearing in the outer pinion bearing race. Place the pinion seal on with the spring side facing the bearing. Because of the seal's soft metal, use additional care while driving it in place. Choose a driver similar in diameter to the pinion seal. These should be controlled strikes aiming to keep the seal level throughout the process. Walking it in can deform the pinion seal. When no driver is available, a socket, such as this hub socket, which has a similar diameter to the seal, can be used. If utilizing a socket in this manner, use a sacrificial extension, as repeated blows will deform the struck surface. When neither of those options are available, a seal can be seated with only a hammer. It is an unideal situation, as a wrong hit can ruin the seal. Start with light taps until one side of the seal just barely catches. Then move to the opposite side to tap it even. Each time, the seal seats a little further and all sides are kept as level as possible. Once the pinion seal seats completely, check that the spring didn't get dislodged. If the spring is loose, remove the seal and try again, replacing the pinion seal as needed. If this helped you or you learned something new, tap that like button. And don't forget, we want to hear from you. What steps do you want to see broken down in detail? Which steps are difficult to replicate with your setup? And make sure you're subscribed to stay notified about the next fun project in the Rear Wheel Performance Garage.